Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about carriage bolts. Remember, this is the one I told you it's threaded all the way. Of course, not all the time, but this one particular one is. And then, as you put it in one piece of lumber, and you're going to put two of them together, so this would go on the bottom. What you would do is you would hammer this into place so that it won't turn and it'll hold really well until you can get on the other side and put a nut on it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hammer this in for you. There we go. Now you see it's down flush. So now what we'll do is we'll drill a hole through here and then put this on there and then put the nut on there. So see now we can we can handle this, turn it upside down, do whatever we want to with it, and this bolt's not gonna this bolt's not gonna fall out. So that's that's the whole idea. Plus you can get on the other side and as long as you don't push on it too hard, you're gonna be able to hold it. So we're gonna stick this through there, push that down. Matter of fact. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it up just to show you and we need a, a washer for sure because well let me do it without the washer first okay now as we tighten this thing up you can see it already digging into the the lumber and uh, what's gonna happen uh, if you get it too tight and of course now you've made a mess especially if this is gonna be a, a carriage that they built back in the uh, 1800s they wouldn't want that so that's why they put washers on there so as this thing is turning and when it swells then it's gonna pull itself loose from the nut and then the nut's going to vibrate as you're running down the road and then next thing you know you got a loose some kind of loose board this way now you can tighten this thing up all you want to of course you know how much you want to tighten it but you can really see how this thing's really starting to pull through the through the lumber so getting it tight as you want is up to you but all you want to do is just snug it up and you can even put a lock washer on there for even better grabbing power and not being able to back off lock washers are the best things in the world for stuff like this okay and here's a lock washer then what you've got is if there is a little space, I mean, if there is a little bit of shrinkage in the bolt, it's still down pretty snug, not let's just say not overly tight, just to say snug, that lock wash is still going to prevent it from backing out. And then you can either, you know, tighten it up again. Of course, each time you tighten it, each time it gets some, uh, gets wet and swells, it's going to do the same thing. But at least this way, I'm not going to say it's never going to back off. I'm just going to say there's less chance of it backing off. You can see this is on there. Oh boy! Yeah, I can move the table before I can turn that thing. So, you know you've done a good job. See, now I can move it. But it's still tight. So you can see how this dug into that that nut you know it won't come off so you can see I mean that's gonna be hard to see but you can see where it dug into that nut of course it does the same thing with the washer it digs into that to keep that thing from backing off that's why they're called lock washers Alrighty. 
on to the next one.